hey y'all. Uh, here's part four of the arm demo. So, uh, we baked it and we started wet sanding it. Now I've wet sanded it just a little more all the way around. Just cleaned it up a little, not too much. And uh, I've primered it, giving it two light coats of primer. This is miniature primer. You can, a lot of times you can get this at a comic book store or from Amazon. Amazon will have to order it from some comic book store, but it's still a route to get it. So we're back in the sculpting room and uh, the primer has dried, ran to the store, got some Vaseline, anything, again, anything with white petroleum jelly, lip balm, uh, and so I've got a clean brush here and that's good. Just going to get a little bit of Vaseline and wipe it on here. See, just a little bitty amount. And then I'll even try to wipe that off. And this is just a polymer clay trick to uh, make the fresh Sculpey adhere. So that when you go to put a little piece on, it doesn't want to fall off at its earliest convenience. Now, like I talked about, we're going to do, uh, just put kind of the heads on the muscles. And by that, I just mean the tips, the very furthest points out, kind of define them. So I'm going to give it a light coat of Vaseline all over. And then wipe it off really well. And that'll give me confidence to just put anything anywhere. I won't have to worry about that. I you know is it covered there you can still see the cracks pretty well I'm not worried about that I'll, I can fix that okay so that's I'm gonna call that reasonably again there doesn't have to be much on there We dremeled out some stuff last time around the uh, wrists and stuff. And I'm going to try to look at it more from this straight on view because it's kind of wobbly from over here. This part of the deltoid is way out there. So I'll probably carve that in a little bit. Now, uh, one thing I was talking about is the round exacto, a round number two. This is really dirty. That's how you know it's real. This is the, the besides the uh, ultra tool or the burnisher that I've been working with, this round exacto is the next the next tool that I really love. And so I've got reference, I've got great muscle reference like we talked about in the first video. I'm not, I don't want to try to make anything up. I want to look at stuff and try to bring it over into the, um, into what we're, I'm working on. So the tops of these muscles right in here, they kind of stagger downward, almost like a little. And I'm just taking away this material because I'm really anal retinent and I don't want a big mess.
Okay, and like I said, this the, the middle delt, I think we're calling it the middle delt, is out really far, so I want to rein it in a little bit. It's just out so far. So I'm just thinking about the tops of these muscles right here. Now when I thought that, uh, when I thought that uh, cortisone, not cortisone, whatever that stuff is, was working, I wanted to add some to this uh, tricep area. And so that's one of the first things I'm going to do. And I think this will help the uh, how huge the shoulder is. Now I can tell by how that by how that slid around that I didn't do a good job wiping off the Vaseline because that was slippery, slippery. So I'm going to wipe it off again because, uh, like super glue, it's easy to put too much super glue on. I hope some of this is uh, making sense and that this is watchable. It's uh, weird to sit here by yourself and talk. Sit here by yourself and talk to yourself. It's a little bit more fun to do the FB live when I can get enough bars, because then you have people responding and making conversation. Okay, so. Uh, I keep throwing down this I have misplaced the brush with the uh Okay, sorry about that. Whoops. I, uh... Misplaced the, uh... Brush with the Vaseline on it. So, okay. I feel like... I can beef up the inside of this forearm a little bit. That's safe to do. And there's also this high point of the uh, inside of the wrist. It's kind of in front of the wrist, right there. And then I'll do the little wrist knot, that outside of the knot. I'm on the fence of whether to cut off these um, little wires, 
going back and forth. It could be a fist. Okay, so again, going back to all these forearm muscles, you know, this is kind of the fun part. You've got this main line. And you've got one to the inside of it. You've got one to the outside of it. And then one more for luck. Hit that with a little bit more Vaseline. And I keep coming back to the top of this shoulder because it's kind of messy. So I feel like if I can get it resolved, it'll... Okay, so now I'm looking for my Ultra Tool. Uh, so I've always got to have the Ultra Tool, Ultra Tool on hand or the burnisher and uh, because I've been working in Aves so much it has some hardened material on the edge so we'll get that off before starting I'm just beefing up the forearm a little bit. It's there, but it's, it's nothing to write home about, so. And I'm carefully adding little bits because I don't want to, I don't want the forearm to get out of control.
so some of the lines I don't really need to do this but I'll just talk about it some of the lines that I would naturally do in the bicep are like right there it's coming down out of the inside of the shoulder and so the tips of it would be to the inside right there and then on this side of the vein right there and then to the outside of the vein And then they just keep going in this little direction all the way down into the forearm okay so before I add a little bit more clay I'm actually gonna take a little bit more off we'll get in here and make it a little prettier because it's irritating me And now we're getting into what could be close to that true surface I keep talking about. Kind of, hopefully some of these muscles are the final go at them. And just like any other sculpture, there are moments where I think, hey, this is looking cool. And then I'm, there's moments where I think, oh, shit. This is not looking cool. And that's just the roller coaster of sculpting. I've got the camera set up a little different this time. It probably doesn't... Probably it's not noticeable, but... <clears throat> I just came in from the side a little bit so that I'm not working around it. I've got my hands, uh, they're a little bit freer. Okay, one thing I like to do is on this uh, tricep is to separate this little horseshoe thing from the back to the front.
and we'll beef up this back tricep a little bit why not uh, just gonna add a little more Vaseline back here so we can do some of these muscles So, uh, <clears throat> without going too far into the back, a little sip of coffee, okay. One of the first things we could do is something like that. Because to me, this is relative to what's happening with the uh, shoulder. It all flows together. And these muscles are still basically doing this uh, kind of spiral formation I keep talking about, which is you've got that right there, and then another one. Now this is the back of the delt. And it's getting big. The back of the delta is getting big. We could rein that in a little. But if the tricep keeps getting bigger, it won't be too off-putting. Just showing the direction of this uh, this tricep. And so then uh, with the back of the tricep, these little lines keep coming around and then they tuck in right here as we'll do now. And this last little one will often create like a little knob right there. So you've got these little directional lines on a dude that's just totally shredded. You'll see these little things peek out. Boom, boom, boom. This is not unlike how my triceps look. Um, <clears throat> that's a joke. Uh, so I'll smooth that out, but I'm just talking about what the muscles are doing there. And, uh, the bigger I go with the tricep, 
and the shoulder, I'd keep putting this little muscle back in. And that makes it all work because it's really there. Now, no matter how big the dude is, this back deltoid will come to an end. It'll kind of go down. And then not that it starts over, but the, the same little strips of muscle do start over. Because it's all supporting the shoulder. And this happens in the chest too. just looking at it through the camera now and uh, just gonna take that in a little bit And I just want to keep turning it because I'll see stuff like this part. This is so high, it's not making sense from the side. But I was really just doing those little lines to talk about the directional stuff. So I'm not worried about that. We'll take that back off. And the trap will often come to a pretty clear end right here. And again, the shoulder's way out because I was showing just the, what the muscle, the direction of all those little action lines. So now I'm just coming back and I'm thinking about where is the high point. I talked about this, I think, in the first video. Where's the high point of all these little muscles right here? Right in there. And I'm not going to leave those on because they're too wide. But it's just crossing my mind that... So in the forearm there are two, I think we've already done one of these forearm veins already, but there's two uh, great 
and obvious veins to do on the forearm. One is this one, okay? And <clears throat> like I said, it's going to be the wide, often it's going to be the widest point out. Right there. And so then you come into the inside. And uh, this isn't going to be beautiful by any means, but just to something like that on the inside, and it's kind of paralleling what we called the main vein. this guy so you've got this guy boom he's coming up and then this one and then you've also got one here in the shoulder And now that we're coming to the end of the video again, I'll try to clean it up a little bit. And uh, now I'm just going to try to look at it and see what looks the craziest. And uh, I think this... So I kind of made a mess of this shoulder right here and then never did anything good with it, but I had the best of intentions.
Now I'm going to grab some rubbing alcohol to smooth it up a little bit. Besides Vaseline, this is one of the things we use to So Vaseline will make stuff uh, fresh sculpey adhere to bake sculpey, but rubbing alcohol, commonly uh, isopropyl alcohol, commonly known as rubbing alcohol, will smooth it out. And you want to just use a little bit because it can do a lot to the surface. Uh, so I've got a brand new paintbrush. If it has any kind of paint on it, the alcohol will start to suck it out and you'll start to paint your piece. So, just going to pour a little bit out into this Pringles lid. And uh, not a whole bunch, because I'm not going to use a whole bunch. I'm just going to use a little bit, just to, you know. And uh, so usually we would do this before we're, we put it in the uh, oven or we heat gun it. Like at this point, once it's already been baked, just to, to cure these little things I've added, might just heat gun it. Uh, just depends on what mood I'm in. But the rubbing alcohol will definitely leave the fresh stuff uh, tacky and harder to work. It's going to be way harder so I don't even like to try to do that. I don't put alcohol on it until we're about to bake it and then once it bakes all that is gone and you don't have to worry about it uh, affecting the surface. So that's just cleaning up some stuff that who cares. So we've got our shapes now and we're trying to really make it look like an arm. So I've kind of made just a thin piece. I'm just going to kind of bulk up this right here. I kept that really thin so it wouldn't just change what I had too much. It would just kind of cover it and help it. Now I'm going into panic mode because We're hitting the 40 minute mark and I was trying to keep them all around the same time not that it matters
just kind of resolve a little bit of this so it, none of it's going the wrong direction. It doesn't have to do anything spectacular. And it looks so funny from the front to me that I'm going to try to bulk up the... <clears throat> yeah, see, this shoulder is just coming out ridiculously far, but whatevs, that's all right. Hello, little mosquito hawk. Made an appearance. Alright, well I hope that looks like something. Uh, maybe we'll mess with it a little more and there will be a fifth video, but so far this is just building up the general muscles and trying to make them go the directions they go. So I hope everybody's enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for your support on Patreon. It means the world to Brandon and I. And uh, we'll be back and talk to you all soon. Thanks again.